Yo, this is Tone tapping in with Media Pass TV. What's up, what's up, all right? What's up, bro? <laughs> Tone Royal, Mr. Tone Royal. How you doing today, man? I'm doing good, bro. Feeling good, feeling good. That's good to hear. Um, so for the people who don't know, um, tell, tell, tell them who you are. My name is Tone Royal, Mr. a &R, Mr. Monopoly, real estate investor, developer, flip a lot of houses, build a lot of houses out here in the 757. Um, <clears throat> got started a little bit while ago, like, you know, just being young, trying to, uh, you know, just figuring out a, a different path in life, you know what I'm saying? Um, when I was a kid growing up, used to do, like, contract work with my grandfather, my pops and stuff, so it was like, I knew I didn't want to do that work. So, right, right. you know, like, fast forward, just coming up, I was like, dang, I want to, like, really get into flipping houses and, and building houses and stuff like that. And, just as time went along, going through trials and tribulations, like really trying to like just find your lane and find, you know, what's for you. I ended up just finding that and really turning up with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh um, man, I actually, like what like what was like the turning point? Like what actually like got you to here? But besides working and contracting with your grandparents. Uh, um, you know, I it was it was a couple different things. So one, you know, like just. Being in the street and, and, and seeing friends getting locked up and people getting crossed out and just all kind of just stuff that come with being, you know, saying just getting money in the street. It was just like, I was like, bro, it's time for me to find something different. I was taking L's back to back to back. I was like, yo, something, this God telling me, like, switch lanes, you know what I'm saying? And I always wanted to get into real estate, you know what I'm saying? So between that and then when I was younger, like probably a year or two before that, I had a job. Like, they ended up giving me a promotion and suspended me in the same 30 days. So I was like, I like, <clears throat> some crazy stuff. They, I guess they seen how much I was making, and they was like, oh, no, nah, you don't supposed to be jumping that far ahead that fast. And I wasn't trying to leave. So I was like, no, nah, I'm going to keep doing this. So they ended up suspending me for, like, three, four months. So, you know, it was back to doing what I was doing. And may, I, may I ask what job was this? Uh, Longshoreman. Oh, word. Hell, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Longshoreman, bro. Like, I got down there. Learned some shit. They said, oh, you know how to do this? Gave me a promotion. Hell yeah. Turned up. I was going crazy, like, working all the hours I could. You know what I'm saying? Real, real quick, for for those who don't know what a longshoreman is, could you explain? Oh, yeah. So, longshoreman is like, um, you're dealing with the, the container ships. You're doing export, import. Um, the, the, all the containers is bringing in, like, raw materials, TVs, clothes, whatever that's coming to our port. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cars, anything. Mm -hmm. So, I ended up getting, like, a supervisor position. Like, real fast. So they was like, oh, nah, you need to come back down here, get this $13, $14 an hour. I'm like, yeah, fuck that. What the fuck? Nah, hell no. Nah. So what, what, were you, what were you doing to, like, set yourself apart? Um, just being game? eager, bro. Just trying to, like, once I found out what positions made what money, I'm like, I got to get over here. So I started getting over there with them, learning what they did. And the next thing you know, they started putting me in the rotation of that. So you know what I'm saying? with that same eagerness, is that do you carry that over to like anything that you do, like especially with the houses? Yeah, like hell yeah, hell yeah. Like, I've always been a hustler since I was a kid. Like since I was 14, I was off the porch early. Like I had a bunch of older cousins, they was getting money. Like they 15, 16, pulling up in old schools to the you know granny house at the cookout, yeah, yeah, auntie yeah, house yeah, at the yeah. cookout. So I was like, <laughs> well, inspired, I, I got inspired. mongoose at home. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Like, hey, I, I gotta get right. I had the J's. You know what I'm saying? The J's had a little outfit. But I'm like, oh, cousin, I'm pulling up to the cookout with old school on 24, 22. You know, I'm like, nah, I gotta get right. So just being around them, you know what I'm saying? Like, I kind of took took a take into that early and was just really, you know, getting to the bathroom, anything. Like, even with, you know, being in the streets and selling my little shit, doing, I was like, lime wire. We was burning yeah. CDs like, burning and CDs DVDs. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Coming to school, we were selling t-shirts, white tees, and all that. So yeah, I was doing shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was doing anything trying to get a dollar when I was young, bro. So, you know, I just always had that hustle for sure, for sure. Did your did your cousins ever I understand they were in the streets, but did they yeah. ever do the contracting with your nah, house and everything? Nah, like nah, a couple, a couple of them did, matter of fact. Two of them did. Okay. Two of them did. Do they do real estate with you now? With nah, uh-uh. Uh -uh. <clears throat> okay, that leads me to my next question, which going back to like your homie, you know, you said you uh, had a few homies who died or got locked up or whatever mm -hmm. like that. The homies that were left, they... Did you try to, like, teach them or bring them along the way? Or anything? Yeah, like, yeah, like, some of them, for sure, for sure, like, I came to them. I know, like, a couple of my homies, they probably like, nah, Tony, you got to show me first. Because I came to them, you know, like, starting out, I didn't really know what I know now. So, back then, I thought it took a bunch of money. So, I was going to certain friends, like, yo, like, you bring this to the table, we can do this, we can do that. They was like, 
I was like, I'll get with you type shit. So I was like, all right. So I kind of figured, like, nah, Tone, like, go ahead. You got to go ahead and lead the way. Go ahead and start it off. So, um, yeah, a couple of my homies now, it's like, yeah, bro, like, where the house at? <laughs> like, <laughs> send, send me a crib. So now it's like, yeah, just pulling everybody together that, you know, that, that want to move forward with the real estate stuff. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Now that it took off, sometimes, you know, people just got to see, you know, like, being in certain environments and not seeing that we can make way more money doing something legit versus doing this sometimes you gotta show a person because I, I had i had to be like that changed my mindset like i got around people that was doing all the stuff i was trying to do from being in the streets that they was being legit like they was going getting rollies every month and buying their mom cars and taking trips all the time and they was legit so that's what changed my whole perspective you know what i'm saying have you always been like the one to take risks and, yeah and and how do you feel um how do you feel taking a risk like this to have to show your friends like for, for proof. I, I feel like it feel good, you know what I'm saying? Like I feel like I feel like with me taking those risks before then, when I got into real estate, I was like, oh, this ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, before then it's like somebody's like, oh, you owe the plug, bro, you gotta go pay. Like right, you right. about to get on your ass, you know what I'm saying? But now it's like, bro, we dealing with real people, real attorneys, real, you know what I'm saying? It's like real paperwork involved. So it's like I was like, bro, this ain't, this ain't, it's an easy type of risk. Oh, bro, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, a lot better right. than the other ones. Right, know? right, right, bro. So it was just like, you know, I had went through a lot, and it's like I said, I was taking a lot of L's, and that's when I knew it was like it was, it was just time to transition, time to switch lanes, and trying to and do something different. And um, you know, once it once it got popping, like like I say, my homies pulled up, they seen, they like, bro, you going crazy with this shit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, let me know, like, you get a crib, or you know, da da da, you know what I'm saying? So. It definitely, like, you know, it opened their eyes. It opened a lot of people. It opened, it opened my folks' eyes. You know what I'm saying? Like, even family was like, oh, he don't know what the hell he doing. He going to mess up his money. He Contractors going to run off on him with his with his money. And then... Even the family? Yeah, yeah bro. bro. Like, people talking crazy. But, you know but now, now the conversation's yeah, different. Yeah, the conversation's way different. The conversation's way different. Conversation conversation way different you know what I'm saying? So it's like, now it's like, oh, bro, like, you got a rental property. You got this, you got that. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, and then and family actually support me. Like, they go out, they, they bragging about me. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, little cuz do this, or nephew do this, or um, my son do this, or whatever. You know what I'm saying? See, like, that's that's like the second example that you gave giving me where, like, people have people have had to see it first before they start. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay, okay. People will box you in. Like, when you, like, when people know you for doing this or doing that, or even mm -hmm. just, you know, just having a great, a good job or whatever case, they going to box you. They like, oh, you know, but it's like, bro, I've been around that shit all my life. That, that, I've been around, like, the construction. Everybody in my family, everybody was hustlers. You know what I'm saying? But everybody's had, like, other stuff going on. Like, I had cousins that had five, six houses downtown Newport News. My pops had, he had, a, like, a, a, a couple rentals downtown. So it was like, people was already in it, but it's just like, you know, that won't really their main thing to, right. you know what I'm saying? So like, it's like, this your main yeah, thing, I mean, right? this is my main thing. Like, bro, I ain't. If I can figure this out, I know I ain't got to do that. Like, after them first two deals, I was like, that, I'm good. 